I have a very interesting career path. Okay, I spent six years in the European and Korean electronic conglomerate called LG Philips. And initially, we have a lot of a lot of systems. And then my role is to build up the back office. So my coverage is mainly on the accounting transactions, IT operation, infrastructure management, security, because we have a lot of patents to protect. And also we have so many pe people from so many countries. So there's a high chance for any sneakers or contractors to take the information like financial statement from the company. And also on the physical layers, that is the physical security is also part of my shoulders. Okay. So, and then uh, by, by chance, I have a chance to work in Guangzhou right now for textile manufacturers. But the number of staff or number of workers are huge. You're talking about like 12,000. 12, so they involve another new challenge is how we can make a very simple system, simple MIS, simple like IT system, but we have very robust security protections. I have a, a big team of developers, okay, and I involve a lot of users, maybe in one single location or in multiple locations. So the key point right now, my challenge, key challenge is how can, how can I know the activities of the people? Okay? Even though we sign some non-disclosure agreements, how we know what they actually did or what they are planning to do? Uh, we, I have two, two choices, either to buy a lot of software to record the activities or we do it on our own. That starts my journey to go into the secure software developments. Uh, before, we have to look at uh, how people will attack the systems. That's uh, in CSSF, they, they call it attack surface analysis. So I find the qualification can re really beneficial me in this kind of design. And also another good thing from the curriculum in the CSLP is they help me to plan the test, the UAT test, in particular for the security software testing. Uh, before I, I, I run through some course on the software design and software set testing, but that's too generic. When we hit the like security software issues, that is a huge, huge demand. Traditionally, we talk to the users to get the requirements. We design so-called system system requirement or specifications and also we do the programming, do the coding and then do the testing, do the UAT user requirement uh, assessment test and also deploy, install. But across this platform, uh, we always overlook one thing is how when something goes wrong, like a security outbreak or, or, or vulnerabilities. So when I walk through the, like, the CSSLP curriculums, I find three things really interest me. The first thing is, is tell me how to do one thing called attack service analysis or design. That's a critical. This is, to be honest, very innovative because this is the first time to see the terms. Even though there's a lot of research on this, but they are really related to very hardcore computer science research, not on a, a single piece of qualifications. And the second thing is uh, uh, on the testing itself. Um, I walk through the other software quality testing something kind of tra training, it's very, very generic. You focus on the user data, the testing methodologies, but when you touch upon the vulnerability test, it's very few, very minimal. So I have to use my own thought to tie them together. But this qualification gives me like a very good blueprint, a very detailed steps, how to do this, how to plan this. And the final one is uh, so-called the, the nitty-gritty, the so-called the basic security elements, security concepts. This is also a good thing that I find in these qualifications. So when I put this through to my team, to my team in chi China, initially they find oh, security software and typical STLC are two different animals. Okay, they, they challenge me. Why I have to put them together? I say, you look at so many software outbreaks, so many security issues. We have to make our software not robust but safe. It's two different things. Robust means we can make our software work forever. But if you want to make the software work safe, it's more difficult because people tend to be very careless. They tend to be very lazy. So they will always look for short, uh, quick fix or like a shortcut when you're using the software. So when we design a software, we have to plan this in mind and, and do all this kind of secure software testing to ensure this kind of carelessness or laziness will never crack and make the piece of software to be like a, like a corporate backdoor to let the, the bad guys to tap into the corporate database. CSSLP gives me a very good concept framework to design a very good test plan and also has helped me to also based on like a test design to fine tune 
all these other software to ensure in case anything go wrong, we can have find a very quick remedy to fix all these issues. When I look at the curriculums in the CSSLP, I, I find some hints. Okay, it teach me how to design a very good cryptography algorithm, and also how how can do a very good validations, and then to also embed this kind of mechanism in my piece of software design. Say a typical like customer master maintenance software. Okay, I without also in the design also kick out all the tedious thing like multi login because they will cause a lot of like unuser friendliness in the operations. But still, we maintain a very good uh, encryption in the data itself, in the application itself, without any complaint from the users.